Hey YouTube, <coughs> this is the uh, Stevie Doe 9 or I think I changed my name to Steven Dent now on, on YouTube if you're looking for me. Um, so, I've been meaning to do this for a little bit. Uh, so today's Wednesday, I've been meaning to do it since about Sunday and my hair's a mess because uh, I've just come back from band practice and my voice is a bit, you know. Anyways, so this is a review uh, on a friend of mine's guitar. Um, the guy's name's Andy, so Andy if you're watching this. Hello? Um, yeah, the guitar is this one. Wait, let me just turn it so it's more in the light. It's fucking gorgeous. Pardon my language. But this is the guitar. It's an ESP MH100QMNT, okay? Uh, so it's the LTD version. Uh, so we've got a kind of, I can't remember what they call this shape, it's like, I think it's, it's not shark fin, but it's some, that kind of thing. Uh, six inline headstock, standard, not reversed. Uh, single screw truss rod cover, I think that's a, I'm not sure what that is actually. Some kind of nut. Rosewood fretboard, standard dot markers with a block in there with the name of the guitar. Maple neck, with this weird thumb joint thing here. ESP, serial number, and all the deets on the back. Uh, I think these are locking tuners, I'm not sure. They certainly hold their stability well. Uh, standard ESP pickups. One volume, one tone. The tone pot thing is at my drummer's house somewhere, I think. Charles, if you end up watching this, have a look. Three-way selector switch. Uh, and it's a string through body. But if you look at the finish on this guitar, look at that. Look at that. So that's a, a quilted maple top. If you turn it over, that's heavy. It's a two piece mahogany, I think, body with one axis patch. It's got, oh, this is really dark. This is terrible. Is that better? Yes. It's got a cutaway in the back here for people with big belly or boobs. It's got a cutaway here, spoon cut, and it's been chamfered a little bit just to give you a little bit of a grip. Uh, the neck is unfinished, which feels really good. It's kind of satin varnished, if anything, but it feels really good. Uh, he's got a Planet Wave strap on it with strap locks on. Good lad, because the uh, guitar that you have borrowed off me, my Ibanez Andy, if you are watching this, I don't know if you will be, um, the strap locks can fall off. I hope you don't find that out, but they can do. And I mean, I smashed a good neck on that one doing something stupid with it. Not my Ibanez, my Les Paul. So, yeah. So that's the, uh, what they're called, aesthetics of the guitar. So I'm going to pop the camera down. Where should I put it? I don't know. Uh, also, I'm going to be running my new pedal board. It's not much yet. It's basically a piece of mahogany. A piece of old mahogany with some, um, oops, with, with some wedges put underneath it to lift it off the floor. But what's special is it's got a four gang main switch built in. So I'm running off the board at the moment. I'm running an air freshener. I'm running my amp and my uh, AC adapter for the pedals. I'm running all the pedals and I've got a foot switch as well. So basically, what I'm going to do, oops, sorry, what I'm going to do is I'll turn the amp on, like that. I've got a couple of amps running at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'm running all that off that. Uh, and I'll set this down, I'll put it on the windowsill, might as well. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this on the windowsill. I don't know how good view is going to be on this. Let's just have a look. See, it'll do, and I'll talk. I'll talk loud. So let's just get this plugged in. Oh, damn strap. Look, oh, right. There we go. So obviously that just goes in there like that. Let's see how in tune it is. Bad. It's not bad. looks nice, looks killer to be honest, the finish is amazing. Uh, I'm going to sit down actually, I'm lazy, I'm tired, I'm just a member of this, don't judge me. 
I'm just going to sit down like this. Uh, okay. So, um, things I like about this guitar. The neck is a really good, really good um, feel. It's really quick. You can move up and down it really quick. I think the camera's on an angle. Let me just angle that a little bit like that. There you go. The neck's really quick. You can like properly move it around so you can be playing your... And you, so you can be playing your rhythm stuff and you can get to here really quick. My voice is so bad. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Without a drink either. Um, but, um, yeah, so... This is the clean. This is no effects, just a bit of reverb of my amp. Um. This is the bridge picker. It breaks up a little bit, which I quite like. So like... You can kind of, if you pick high, it's dynamic, so you can pick like. You can pick high. And it kind of breaks up, which is good. This is the middle position, and I keep the tone all the way on, I never use the tone part. So bad. Um, yeah. So, and then this is the neck position. Exactly. The pickups are a bit muddy, I find. I think, Andy, if you watch this, buy better pickups. If you want cheap ones, Iron Gear Steam Hammers, they're about 25 quid each. If you want to go expensive, EMG 185, 8160, uh, 57 and 61, I think they do that now. Something like that. Just because these pickups are way still on this guitar, I think. It looks so good. <laughs> you want to get some searing metal tones with it. Also, the other good thing, you do the ping. On the off chance that Mr. Rob Chapman will be watching my videos. He loves the ping. Okay, so... Before I go to the downsides, I'll run it through my overdrive channel. My uh, overdrive, then I'll run through my lead. Oh, actually, should I put some effects on it? I'll put some... This is my effects channel. This is just some delay because I use it in Tears Don't Fall. scoop the mids a little bit just for it to work that much better pinch harmonics aren't as good on the low strings also 
also one gripe I have is the volume part is so slow. It's so sluggish. You can't do you can't do proper like mute it quickly. You have to uh, get that sorted and you get new volume parts. <laughs> So, that's the Overdrive channel, and then the lead channel on this guitar, on my amp, is basically more game, and a bit louder. <laughs> sort of um, that amount of gain it kind of goes a bit over the top <laughs> yeah. yeah new pickups I think I need that's a definite um, but in terms of soloing this guitar is brilliant <laughs> So yeah, uh, that this is the ESP. So now I'm going to do some bad points, or not bad, but things I don't like. Me personally, I don't like this thumb thing here. It gets in the way. When I'm trying to play like the first thing of Master Puppets, where it goes. <laughs> If I turn around so you can see what happens to my thumb. And obviously, so if you're gonna be playing Master Puppets a lot, don't get this guitar. But if I just show you, you might sit here, my thumb has to go like this. And it bends quite far back. I, I like it when my thumb can lie flat like that. Like that, instead of going like that. So that's one gripe. The other thing is your action is a little bit too high for my taste, but that's not really a big deal. That's my taste, obviously. I had to raise the pickups a little bit, don't have a go at me, Andy, because they weren't picking up properly, which is not what you expect here, but just the height of your pickups can make a difference. Obviously, don't put them insanely high because then the strings touch, but don't put them so low that there's a volume drop when you activate them because that just messes stuff up big time. Um, other things, the frets have been leveled differently than from how I have on my Ibanez, so that's a bit of a weird feeling for me. And they're, I think they're a bit bigger, I'm not sure. So that's nice, but it's a bit odd. Um, other bad things, there aren't really any to. Oops, there aren't really many bad things to be honest. It's a good guitar, but I don't know. I can't remember how much you paid for it, Andy. I think I'd pay about 200, 250 maybe for this. I wouldn't pay much more than that. The neck joint is getting there, it's almost good, it's not quite, you can't really like properly dig in, you can do your best, like so if you do it like... So if you if you're clever, 
you can dig in with just these two fingers, which opens your palm up. But if you want to dig in with like this finger, if you use all four, I don't. If you use all four fingers, it's really difficult to get your hand in there because your thumb it can't anchor properly up here. So, you know, that's, I think that's just my personal preference again. I just think the neck joint's a little bit shallow. Maybe it could be a bit deeper. Um, apart from that, I don't have any problems with it. The, act, the intonation. <laughs> On three strings, the intonation's off, but that doesn't matter either. Um, it, like it's like tiny bit off, so that doesn't matter. Um, apart from that, literally no problems with this guitar. It's like gorgeous, plays like a dream, looks good, and obviously he's got it strung up with Diodarios because he's a good lad. Diodarios are the best way to go. Um, it's a nice slim profile. It's not heavy either. It's really not heavy. You can. Really throw it about on stage. It's got. A, I think the body could be arched a little bit more. I like arched bodies, which I love the Les Pauls. The Ibanez I'm not so good with because it's just flat. But I really don't have any. Don't have any problems with it. So I'm just going to drop tune it now to drop C sharp, which is what I would be in. C sharp. Um, the pickups, the muddiness of the pickups is a bit of an issue, but I can live with it. Yeah, so that was this was the ESP H. What was it? <laughs> MH one hundred QMNT. Andy, thanks a billion. Love you, bro. But like I said, pickups, get them done. Intonation, get it sorted. Apart from that, you're all good to go. Um, and maybe put some elevens on there because you know gauge elevens are the best gauge of strings out there, apart from custom sets. So that was my review, honest. And I'd give this guitar an eight out of ten, maybe maybe a nine, pushing it. But I think definitely an 8 out of 10. It's a really nice guitar. I love the I love that top. It's so nice. Yeah. So this was Stevie 09. Thanks for checking out my chat uh, my video. And if you want to come and see me and my other band playing at my school next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. It's Matthew Arnold School. Uh, and you can check dates on Twitter. If you go at and then capital M, capital A, capital S, and then music. And then D E P T. Follow them up at Mass Music Department. Um, it's basically they'll just tweet information. But if you're if you're interested, or Facebook me and I'll give you details. Whatever. Um, if you can come, great. So yeah, this was the Stevie 09. Thanks for checking out this video, and I will catch you on the flip flop. That was really gay. I'll never say that again. Bye. And that was also gay. Nah. Okay. I'm going to stop now.